Alrighty guys, so I'm still working on the uh, on making the clocks, but real quick what I've done is I go I went ahead and uh, and researched the advanced logistics. So that's something I've been meaning to get to for a while now. So let's go ahead and just finish this real quick and see what we get here. So let's let this research. This one was pretty cheap. It was just like uh, 15 or 20 pods or so. So it's not nearly as expensive as some of the other ones I've been doing. So let's see what that gave us. Advanced Lodge. Oh my god, 30. Wow, that unlocked a lot of stuff then. All right. Uh, hmm, look at this. Motorized conveyor zipper merge. <laughs> All right, this is interesting. Dual matter mover. Well, th this looks like something I probably should have uh, uh, researched a lot earlier. Oh, what is this? Falcor beacon. Mark off 32 meter area for Falcors to automatically collect loot from. What the heck is this? Automatically collects marked loot from Falcor beacons. All right, so I'm guessing this is like a little drone that will go around and pick up stuff. Huh. Alrighty, that's cool. That's certainly interesting. Let's see what else. Mass storage block. Mass storage for you. Place on a horizontal plane. Use I.O. ports to access contents. Uh, mass storage. Input port. Output port. Alrighty, this is cool, guys. Look at that. So we got the mass storage system. I was wondering where that was. Because I got that last time. Uh huh. Already did. It definitely looks like I should have researched that a lot earlier then, huh? Cargo lift elevator. Look at that. Build a 3x1x3 shape above a 3x3 shaft to automatically deploy into a lift. Huh. Rail racker. Crafts rack rails from iron bars. Basic cargo lift. Alrighty. Well, um, hmm. Alrighty, I guess I should have uh, I shouldn't have put that one off that I didn't realize that was gonna unlock so much stuff damn Alrighty, um, so I'm gonna look into oh there goes the alarm again <laughs> I'm gonna look into all this stuff uh, see what it does uh, And I'm definitely gonna be taking advantage of this stuff So it's here automatically moves a specified type of ore between conveyors, huh? Alrighty, so yeah, this is uh, this is all like automation stuff. Cool, 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 cool. I'm I'm actually kind of pissed at myself now for not having uh, <laughs> gotten this uh, earlier. Uh, let's see here. Rep rapidly combines two lines into one with a guarantee guaranteed 50-50 ratio. Okay. Um, hmm. And then this one attached to a storage hopper and give power to saturate the fastest of the transport systems. Okay. Alrighty, yeah, I am definitely going to have to look this stuff up and really, kind of to really understand what it all does and stuff. But alrighty, guys, that's going to be cool. I just wanted to do this, uh, I just wanted to quickly do do that with you guys to uh, see what we got then. So I guess next thing we're going to do then is uh, we're just going to take care of all these really cheap ones real quick. So this one's also pretty cheap. It's only like 50 pods. So I guess we'll go next, we'll go for the rolling stock. And I believe there was another one here that was cheap. Uh, yeah, the intermediate spider bot defenses. These are just like 12, 15. So yeah, already I'll go ahead and do these really cheap ones quick so we can um, really just kind of get get like the lower the lower stuff out of the way. So yeah, I definitely should have done that a lot earlier. Let's see if there's anything else that's really cheap here. I should probably get that cryogenics research as well. This one's this is one I've been kind of putting off for a while. I imagine that would probably, I imagine this one, I think what this one does, allows me to process like all the bug parts and stuff. Because I got a ton of bug parts now, um, but I'm really not sure what to do with them all. So, uh, so yeah, I think that cryogenics thing allows me to process this in some way and, uh, and who knows what we'll, we'll be able to do with all that. So alrighty guys, um, see you guys uh, soon and I'm going to go ahead and uh, handle take care of these uh, next two uh, next time. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I just finished, uh, or I'm about to finish the, what's it called, the rolling stock. I just need one more Excel pod. So let's go ahead and get that real quick and see what this guy gives us. So I've been having, I've been wanting to do this one for a bit. I don't know why I put it off for so long. And 
So you, uh, a cool little thing I learned, if you can hold control and press T to input a single item into a hopper, which is uh, pretty cool. So it definitely saves, uh, makes things easier. Uh, oh my goodness, look at that. It improved, it uh, unlocked a bunch of goodies. Of course it did. <laughs> all right, we got mine carts, improved cargo lifts. Uh, all right, all right, cool. <laughs> so yeah, we're just, we just keep uncovering more stuff. So let's see what that got us. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. The mine cards, depot, unload station, load station. Okay, track straight. All right, so we can, we got straight up mine cards. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I think these were in before. I just never used them before. So okay, uh, we'll definitely have to check those out. And then the cargo lift controller, and all this stuff. All right. So I haven't really. Yeah, I've never seen this stuff before, so we're definitely gonna have to check out how all of all of this works. And uh, now that I'm seeing this stuff has uh, no icon, so yeah, it's probably fairly new stuff. Um, but alright guys, I guess I'm gonna continue on with the research and unlock more stuff. Let's see, we'll look at that one, that one's expensive. So is this, my goodness. Oh wow. All right, I'm gonna need a lot of pods. Okay, so we'll go with, I'm gonna do all these uh, low tier ones uh, before I really get into the, the next stuff. So yeah, like this one and maybe resin handling and stuff. Alrighty guys, I'll be back once I have the uh, next thing researched. Alrighty, we just finished the uh, intermediate spider bot defense. So let's get that. And we unlock the advanced uh, defenses. And let's see what that gave us. We're, <laughs> We're gonna need a lot more research points, man. Let's see here. spider -Bot cannon, cool. Area damage, all right. And if there's anything else, no. Alrighty. I guess I'll go ahead and might as well outfit it. So I believe we can find that over here. Yeah. Oh. Oh my, take some unknown material. Okay, so there's definitely another material that I have to get somewhere. Um, because of this and the Mark IV batteries and stuff like that. Maybe I have to go deeper. Um, maybe there's some new ores or something like that. So I'm definitely going to have to figure this out. Alrighty guys, uh, I'll be back with some more research. What's up guys, Ocha here. So I am uh, almost done with the resin handling here. As you can see I got about 20 left. Um, but uh, I got to wait for the wall of power to charge up again. So in the meantime, what I wanted to do uh, was... I believe I have enough of the crystal clocks now to start making some of this stuff. Um, and let me just see one little thing here. Make sure everything's closed because I always get lag. And no, nothing else is uh, open. So yeah, let's go ahead and make these. Well, I, I've, I've already made a few of them, but we'll go ahead and make some more. Um, and we'll see if we can get a turbine up and running. That's my hope uh, for this episode. So, okay, right off the bat there, we're going to need some iron pipes, which is made with this guy, the pipe extrusion plant, and I believe I should have those two goodies there. So we've got the iron plates and the charged PCVs. Uh, do I have any? Hmm. I guess not. Alrighty, uh, we'll go ahead and make some of those. The charge, let me just double check it's charged PCV. Yeah, okay, so that's lithium. So to make those, I just put a stack in here and it'll start processing them uh, over here. Uh, so while those get manufactured, let's go ahead and let's make this stuff. So we got the refinery controller and then this thing. We need 27 of these. So let's do hold control and hit craft to craft 25. So that gave us 25 and we'll just do two more manually. 
Alrighty, so this thing is a 3x3x3, that's 27, and the refinery controller attached to it. So let's go ahead and uh, make this over here, and you'll see I have a couple of, uh, I've got a couple of contraptions I've made over here. I'll show you guys these, I'll show you guys these things in, uh, in a bit. Uh, but first, let's get this guy up and running. I really, really want to get this up and running so we can really start solving our power issues because we're we're always struggling with power. <laughs> um, so let's see here. We're going to put this guy... Yeah, I guess around here. I don't want to put him too close or too far because I like to have a certain spacing. But for now, let's just put him here. So let's just make our 3x3. Three Uh, oh, look at that. Turned into a thing. And then put this there. Alrighty, so he's definitely going to need... Um, yeah, it takes 8 biomass. You can see there in the bottom left. And he's definitely going to need power. So, let's go ahead and get him some. Um, I got some of the Mark III laser transmitters, but so far they're... Um, they're kind of expensive, so I'm going to lay off for them right now. I'm getting a lot of lag, but hopefully we'll <laughs> hopefully we won't die or anything. Because uh, I think yeah, it tends to uh, tends to kind of piss off my computer whenever uh, whenever I record. So I guess OBS isn't um, I don't know. It tends to uh, to start lagging out a bit now, especially now that I'm starting to have a bit more uh, machines up and running. I'm sure that this wall of power probably pisses it off a lot because it's constantly tra uh, transferring power between all the blocks. So that's obviously generating a lot of calculations. So I'm hoping that once I get the um, the next gen power system up, maybe I can dismantle that wall and that ho should hopefully uh, free up some of the uh, lag issues I'm getting here. Um, at least while I record, because um, it seems f it plays fine when I'm not recording, but lately when I start these last few episodes have been a little bit laggy for my taste. So um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be able to take care of that. Uh, anyways, let's just route the power here, because I really want to get this guy up and running. And uh, hopefully with this we'll also be able to get the jetpack. Because uh, the jetpack uh, is made with components that I believe we need this thing to uh, to craft with. So let's see here. There we go. I should be giving it power. Oh, what did I do? Okay, that's interesting. So if I press E, it can do. Okay, so yeah, this is how you get the plastic pellets. All right, cool. Uh, so we're gonna need to place a hopper next to him. I guess we'll place two or yeah one input and one uh, Output There we go. So stuff goes in here and stuff comes out there um, So now all we need to do is throw it some biomass I believe for biomass it needs um, Okay, look at that high energy composite fuel needs just two biomass growth so let's go ahead and give it some. We might need some of those canisters as well. So we'll see. Missing one empty fuel canister. Yeah, there it goes. All right. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and make a pipe machine then. Hopefully our PCBs are done by now. There we go, 35 charged PCBs. So that should be enough to make our pipe extrusion plant. If anything, we'll make a, we'll set up three of them. And let's make sure we got some conveyors. We do have conveyors. So this thing should, uh, I believe this thing does not need power. So we should be able to just make a nice little extrusion plant thing over here. Let's see here. So watch, I'll show you guys how you can, uh, set up multiple things with one hopper and stuff like that to make it, uh, to make it um, process faster. So watch, what we'll do is, um, okay, it's actually gonna be really easy to do this. All we need to do is that. That should be able to um, to distribute stuff into the three different, uh, these guys, <laughs> the, the pipe extrusions. So let's put that there. Let's give this guy some, uh, some iron bars and he should start, there we go. 
you know what we can even do to make it um, a little bit faster you know what will it be able to keep up yeah now it's fast enough because it's things kind of slow oh of course you need to have an output there we go and we'll have it all go into a single output Awesome. Alrighty, so that's our little pipe extrusion <laughs> plant. So that way, um, it's always good to set up little areas like that, like little, um, yeah, like you'll see here, I've got various little fabrication lines for making different things. This was my first uh, stamping plant, so this is like to make the metal plates. I got like three of them here. This is a little um, combination of machines to make the PCBs and all that. Um, yeah, it's it's good to set yourself up with that because what I used to do before, I just have like one of each, just one of all these things and that was it. And it's a lot easy, it makes things a lot faster and more interesting if you just use a bunch of like the same machines and wire them all, all up in a way where things get distributed. So uh, yeah, pe some people will do that naturally, others like me will sometimes kind of I don't know, ignore that aspect of it for a while before really realizing that you can really take advantage of all those things. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm trying to do for this series. I'm trying to kind of take myself out of my normal norms and really try to uh, kind of go crazy with all the automation possibilities of this game. Uh, so let's go ahead and craft the, these guys. We're probably going to need a lot of those. Um, so we got the empty fuel canisters, let's see, let's put this in our hot bar, and let's go make ourselves some freaking fuel. Let's see here, we're gonna, what we gotta do is probably place another hopper, let's give them three hoppers. It's gonna be a little awkward, but it's fine. <laughs> so we'll put him there, we'll make him also remove only, and now it should start processing. There we go. Awesome. And I like that it only takes two biomass. That's cool. That means it's a lot cheaper than I thought it would be, which is uh, definitely helpful. All right. Sorry about that. Um, let's see here. We got, yay, our high energy. Look at that. High energy composite fuel. Sweet. So now we just need to make the freaking turbines. <laughs> So let's see if we can do that, or hopefully we won't require some other crazy material that we don't have yet, and we can start finally getting a turbine up and running. Uh, okay, so yes, uh, jet turbine intake, we'll need nine of those, and it takes low grade steel. Hopefully, yeah, we're good on that. Let's just get 50. Here we go, guys. I'm excited for this. I've been wanting to do this for a bit. So let's get these guys. 29 of these and 27 of these I believe um, no 4 by 3 so we need more than 27 so let's see here that would be oh we need the plastic pellets okay <laughs> it's always got to be something all right let's go ahead and get this guy to produce plastic pellets then did he chew up all his uh, energy no he's good he's good so why wasn't it going I would have thought I would have made more composite fuel by now, but all right. Oh, because I have to give it more freaking canisters. That's why, of course, I didn't uh, give it enough. Let's, um, all right, let's grab, let's grab some more pipes. We should have more pipes here. There we go, 90 iron pipes, freaking awesome. Let's get our way over here. Craft some more canisters and let's take it to the next level. four plastic pellets and how much did we need for every block I think it was like five pellets or something uh, where can I there we go uh, okay one pellet each okay so all we need is uh, 27 plus 9 that would be 36 let's get ourselves 36 pellets that's going to take a bit. Alrighty, guys, I will uh, fast forward through this part and I will see you guys in just a sec. 